early on when, when John and I were, were starting to try to put together downtown Chaco in, in the GIS, uh, we tried using the USGS quad and it worked until we realized it didn't work. Um, and Bonito wasn't quite where it should be. So, you know, we, and, and there, and especially where it really got weird was with the orthophotography. So every quad is based off orthophotography. The old orthophotography had to be done in a manual way. So you'd, you'd try to take all the distortions for the lens out of photography, um, dial those out in this, you'd drape the, the photo over something and take these distortions out for elevation change well because it's right next to the cliffs there were distortions because of that and trying to take those out obviously there was a distortion that they introduced by taking out other distortions so Bonito wasn't in the right place uh, which of course you wouldn't know until unless you use high-grade survey uh, accuracy you know uh, optical survey with with real good accuracy or once GPS high accuracy GPS so survey grade GPS came along and we could use GPS then we could see where these errors were and, and realize that uh, a lot of the stuff we done was, and he need, needed to be fixed um, and then we tried to fix it with with new orthophotography and it was supposed to be centimeter accuracy stuff and it wasn't um, so yeah, the whole accuracy in Chaco is, has been an issue. Now, now we're getting, we've got LiDAR and we've got more accurate aerial photography. So it's not the issue it once was. And then we've got a lot of GPS stuff that we've done out here. And, and then uh, the more recent, you know, highly detailed orthophotography or, or structure for motion orthophotography and 3D 3D models of the building, so we can get rid of a lot of that, the errors we had before. So, but yeah, a lot of the old stuff, all the old maps, uh, virtually not all, but most of the old maps are, if you're trying to do uh, any of the sun, moon, you know, what they might be pointing at exercises, it's not going to work because north isn't really north. It might be close to north. Uh, the common errors. 12 to 13 degrees off of north, either to the east or to the west because of the whole uh, magnetic declination issue. People either don't dial it out uh, on their compass and so it, their compass is pointing to magnetic north which is east of north and so everything's kind of rotated that way or they dial it the wrong way then you double the air so it's 26 degrees off or 22 and, or they were in Arizona when they dialed in their magnetic declination. They get over here and it's a degree and a half off. Uh, so yeah, you get, or they were using a map from 1956 and magnetic declination in 1970 was different. So you have that, that's a consistent issue with any published map on Chaco. So we've had to deal with that over the years. So yeah, fixing, fixing air is a, big part of what we've done. The source of the Benito air was, was the orthophoto that got distorted in the, in the wrong way. Um, trying to take out the distortion, they distorted it. So it moved it over to where, so when they made the map, you know, that's what the USGS based most of their maps off of was the orthophotography that they had flown, the NAEP orthophotography. So that moved Benito off to the wrong place and it, it was just a you know an error in the process the key here was the bridge the bridge moved over time so they had the location of the bridge to get the bridge to match where they thought it should be that helped introduce that shift for Benito uh, and that yeah that's a common thing too is you don't realize something has moved especially something as big as yeah, a bridge, something as big as Chaco. A bridge. Yeah. But yeah that that bridge moved so that introduced that shift right at Benito. Everything else is sort of more or less okay. As you get away from Benito, then the air drops off. But right at Benito, it was, yeah, I forgot yeah, so it was so the air bridge. is right at yeah. Benito. So, yeah. Wow. Ironically, and you think there's, and you think this isn't a weird place? <laughs> yeah. yeah.
yeah, it's, that it's was full of distortion. Yeah. Yeah, that for, yeah, it took me a while to figure that out. It was the old photography that showed us where the bridge was. Yeah, so you have to give the you have to give those earthers the because they have to connect with the quad next to it. So if you've got if it's distorted, you have a highway going into no place and picks up on the next, you know, so so these guys had to cut and slice this ortho uh, to make it work. And uh, by the time they got done doing that, we had Bonito in a strange place. So Rich figured that out. And then Scott, Scott and I adjusted in our way, Scott adjusted it as we surveyed, we surveyed in the, the quote temple precinct from Rinconada. And uh, then, then you, uh, you fixed it on the, but we haven't even got to the NASA stuff yet.